Lyrical genius Ed Sheeran has done it again. The British singer-songwriter just broke yet another record. And as a token of gratitude, he announced that he'll be releasing his next record in 2023. After naming his albums after every mathematical function in existence, we're really looking forward to this next album of his. But first, let's talk about everything there is to know about the record he broke in today's video. So stay tuned. First up, Ed Sheeran broke another UK charts record. Did we see this coming? Oh, we most definitely did. There's no doubt in our minds that Ed's one of the most prolific songwriters of our generation. His expressive storytelling and gentle vocals make for such sweet rhythms that it makes our hearts flutter every time a song of his comes on shuffle. So hearing that he broke another UK charts record was not that surprising, considering the chap's done it before, too. According to the official charts company, four of Ed's albums, Plus, Multiply, Divide, and Equals, have now all charted for over 52 weeks. Inside the top 10 of UK's official albums chart, and he's currently the only British artist to have achieved this. On November 2nd, 2022, Ed became the first British artist to achieve this milestone, and he made the announcement in an Instagram video, thanking the fans for their support. Previously, the only other act that had more than one album in the top 10 was Simon and Garfunkel, but they maintained their position as the record holder, with only two albums. So we guess congratulations are in order for Ed. That's one impressive feat. Up next, the singer also also announced a new album following this news. It's been a year since the singer's last album, and even today, Equals are still breaking records left and right. But considering how long it's been since we had new music from him, isn't it about time he releases a new single or two? Guess someone up there heard our prayers, because in the same Instagram video, Ed teased that he's busy shooting a new music video for his album next year. And you best believe our hearts almost stopped. The Shape of You singer didn't give away much after that, so we're not sure what the time title will be, but seeing how he's taking his mathematics tour on the road in 2023, we might just get it very, very soon. In November, Ed talked about releasing an acoustic collection titled Dash, so we think maybe that's the record he's talking about in his video. Who knows? Nevertheless, right now, we're just excited we're getting a new Ed album soon, and seeing how the singer plans to make 10 cymbal records, we've still got a long way to go. Coming up, he's hit a couple of milestones this year. Seems like 2022 has been quite a year for Ed. Having his albums chart inside the top 10 isn't the only feat he's achieved this year. Not only that, but the Lego House singer also reached the 1 billion stream mark on Spotify for his single Shivers, released in 2021. This is the 11th song from Ed's entire discography that has achieved the billion mark as an artist and his 15th as a songwriter. Speaking on Spotify, there's another streaming milestone Sheeran hit earlier in 2022. The British bloke became the first artist ever to hit 100 million followers in the streaming platform's history and was currently the second most streamed artist on the platform. He even celebrated this wearing a t-shirt that read, ask me about my 100 million Spotify followers. And we gotta say, the man surely knows how to celebrate in style. And if you think that was all, the Pop Titans' fifth studio album also dominated the UK's album chart in the summer with combined chart sales of 689,000. In July 2022, the album was the most streamed and downloaded album of the year in the UK. So yeah, we do believe 2022 has been incredibly generous to him. Now that we've seen enough hype for the new album, let's talk about some songs from your favorite pop stars that you didn't know were written by Ed Sheeran. Curious? Keep watching to know more. First up, Zara Larson's Don't Let Me Be Yours. Ed pinned down the song for Zara in 2017 which she later put out in her debut album, So Good, with a couple of other songwriters, mainly Snow Patrol's Johnny McDay and Larson herself. Now, at first, it doesn't seem like it has some sheer and magic to it, but when you give it a closer listen and hear the longing in the lyrics, it's got Ed written all over it. He even provided backing vocals on the track. You know, everybody makes mistakes. Don't let me be yours. Yep, that's classic Ed right there, following up with Liam Payne's Strip That Down. Okay, we agree that the general consensus on Twitter about about Liam's a bit off these days, especially after that video of him dancing to strip that down. But if you think Payne's the only one behind the lyrics to that song, then you're sadly mistaken. Turns out the singer had a little help from his old friend Ed, along with Quavo, and later the trio produced Liam's debut single. Ed also provided backing vocals to this song too, but sadly, they went uncredited. Don't believe us? Go listen to the track right now. What's more, he's helped out the Beebs many times too. Love Yourself was a pretty huge hit in 2000. 
2015. But it wasn't all JB who deserved the credit. Sheeran joined forces with Justin for the song and ended up writing a number one hit for the baby singer. Rumor has it, Ed almost kept the track for himself for his album Divide. But ultimately, the song went to Justin instead. Now we can't stop imagining Ed singing this. Not only that, but the perfect singer's also the mastermind behind another hit from Justin's fourth album Purpose, The Feeling, as well as the 2016 banger Cold Water with Major Lazer and Moo. Up next, he lent his talent to Rita Ora's comeback single too. At this point, we believe Ed's too good to be considered human. The man churns out breathtaking lyrics every time he holds a pen and then gives them away to another artist to use. When Rita Ora made her 2017 comeback with Your Song, it eerily sounded like something Ed would write. The song was a part of the second studio album, Phoenix, and became her sixth song to reach the top ten in the UK. Now for the 2018 hit, East Side. Okay, we're going to be honest here. This song might have been on replay for like a good few months, and when we found out that Ed Sheeran had something to do with it, we fell in love with the song even more. Written by the maestro himself, as well as Benny Blanco, Nathan Perez, Halsey, and Khaled, the song's a perfect listen on a long drive when you're thinking about the good times. Coming up, Ed wrote Dark Times for the weekend. Shocked, right? We were too. According to Abel, co-writing this song with Ed was one of the quickest tracks he'd ever pinned down. And while talking to a crowd in Toronto, the singer praised Ed for his songwriting talent and said he's one of the fastest creative minds he knows. That's some high praise and totally expected too. Following up with Robin Williams' Pretty Woman. Sure, the singer pissed off pretty much all of Russia with this single, Party Like a Russian. But we have to admit, his 11th studio album was a real banger. The heavy entertainment show was received and praised well by critics. And we think it has a little something to do with the cabaret-esque thumpers and Ed's tune in the song. Even in his own discography, Ed uses the same technique in Sing and Don't. So Pretty Woman almost sounds like a long-distance cousin of the two. Next up, we've got Hotel Ceiling by Rixton. Rixton was the band to stand in 2014. The four-piece band might have become the British duo Push Baby now, but Me and My Broken Heart still tickles all the right feels for us. From the years 2014 to 2015, while the band was still together, they dropped a couple of pop gems, which also included this dramatic song, written by Ed. Coming up, Sheeran even wrote for BTS. The K-pop boy group is undoubtedly the main force behind the How You Wave. In 2019, when BTS teamed up with Lau for the track Make It Right, we're sure you probably didn't know that Ed Sheeran was also one of the co-writers on the song, along with RM, Suga, and J-Hope. Well, now that you do know that, guess it's time for a listen. Last but not least, our favorite Ginger wrote a few love songs for One Direction too. Tumblr kids will remember Little Things and 18 as the songs that raised them. And we're gonna come clean too. It's still on our playlist even today. Ed wrote the song when he was 17 and admitted that he kind of lost it until the track found its way back to him in 2012, just when he was in the studio with the One Direction boys. Guess he really didn't let the little things slip. And that's a wrap for this video, guys. What are your predictions for Ed's new album? Do you think we're getting any collabs soon? Drop your theories in the comments section down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. Until next time, see you soon.